All right, so for this periodic transmission, you're going to need the physical dimensions of these boards. And so you take your calipers and you measure the, the length of the section 1 and the length of the section 2. You also measure the, the width of section 1 and the width of section 2. You're going to need the thickness of the board and the dielectric constant of the board. Now, if you're using FR4 at these frequencies, your dielectric constant is going to be about 4.4. If you're using the other duroid that's flexible, that's white, um, you, your dielectric constant is going to be 3. Also, if you notice how I have this cable set up, um, uh, one cable works better uh, for calibration and uh, calibration and measurement of these, this uh, periodic transmission. And that because of the contrast of the screen and the reflection, you can't see it, but there's a line that's about that uh, starts at about negative 20 dB and drops down from this is 0 gigahertz, starts about 2 gigahertz, drops down to about 60 dB, negative 60, comes back up uh, to about negative 20 dB, um, dBm, at around uh, three and a half gigahertz, and then goes all the way to the end to six gigahertz. And that's all I wanted to show you for here. <clears throat> Alright, hi, this is Andrew Bunnell, and to continue on with this periodic transmission lab, um, um, advanced lab, you need to open up one of these worksheets that has macros enabled, and it has a couple buttons down here, it also has, um, has here's your physical parameters that you have to measure on your transmission line, and, uh, and then you have to type all those values in. Uh, next, you're going to click on Save Sweep Data. And you can only do this if you have the Network Analyzer hooked up. And when it's done, it takes about five minutes. When it's done, you should see this uh, sheet right here slowly being filled out um, with all the phase delay, the magnitude phase and delay for all, the, all those values. Next, uh, if you have some simulated um, simulated data either from I3D or from another program that simulates uh, transmission lines you can import that you need to have a S parameter file uh, to be able to import that that will fill in this simulated data tab right here and I have some uh, data there that I simulated um, next you hit this create data for MATLAB and it reformats these three tabs the data in those three tabs so that MATLAB uh, can import that data and doesn't have to really process it um, so the next thing you do is you save, well, you save your file and let's import it so to import the data let's take the newest graphs and right click and hit run now we're going to choose a file. Um, let's choose this file right here. It's going to go through its process and give us a plot here in just a second. And here is a nice plot of our experimental and our analytical extended scheme of our dispersion curve. Now I had simulated data in there too but the students this semester are only going to look at these two um, these two curves and that's it uh, thanks for watching